Entries. Enjoy it. 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 Enjoy all right guys we're back with the inspiring story of bts sugar i want to get that money that's what i signed up for that you can start from the bottom and become a very successful start from the bottom let's go his family was very poor some days he would have to choose between taking the bus home or eating. Yoongi was introduced to MIDI, Musical Instrument to Japan Interface, when he was only 13 years old. And that is how he got started with his wow. love for music. He taught himself to play piano, and by the time he was 17, he had a job at a record studio. Before he even started training at Big Hit, he was an underground rapper and went by the stage name Gloss in his group B Town. He later started training under the entertainment label Big Hit Entertainment for three years alongside <coughs> his two future bandmates, J Hope and Namjoon. In early radio interviews in 2013 2014, he stated that the reason his family did not support his dream was because they were poor and they thought that he at least had to find a stable job to be able to support himself in the future. That his parents were struggling and that they did not want their children to struggle the same way. Oh. And music was not a stable choice. He also stated in this Soul of Your Life that he lived in Chilgok, Deju and that the studio he used to go to was 11 kilometers oh, wow. away. And because he couldn't afford a bus ticket, for a lot of days, he used to walk there, as he stated on his March 4, 2013 video log. When I was young, it would be more accurate to say that I worked rather than I worked on music. But that was how I learned to compose. Some say that I did music as an underground rapper, but it would be more correct to say that I just did music in Beiju. As I worked in the <coughs> studio, I saw beats I made and eventually started rapping. In a BTS radio interview in July 2013 with Super Junior's Ryu Wong, he said that his parents told him not to be involved with music anymore and even threw away all his papers of his music and lyrics. On their February 2014 appearance on Jo Jung Chi and Harry's 2 o'clock radio broadcast, the members were asked, as they often were, about their parents' goals and expectations from them when they were young. Sugar says his parents wanted him to become a government worker and have a stable job and that I quote, As for me, for about six months, my parents were very much against me becoming a rapper to make me reconsider my choice. They hit me and fought and things like this. So I made music. The MC asked Suga if his parents eventually gave him permission to make music and Yungi replies with, well, before giving me permission, I was already out and about doing music. I used to work as a studio engineer while composing and performing at the same time in Beiju, but there was no one when I performed. 50 people was a lot. I lost money every day. I didn't even have money to eat after performing. He provides more details in the Gracia interview. I was just too busy paying for the transportation fee and food while the little sum of money I owned through that job. He describes every day I was in trouble of choosing. If I eat Jaja noodles that cost 2000 I would have to go home walking two hours. It was a hard decision, but I was able to withstand that time 
Thanks to my passion for music, in his album review, he says, After I was born, my mother was extremely sick. She had surgery. Then he goes on to say the lyrics of Move are about the good things about my mother and it's filled with my love for her. When I was really young, I grew up at my grandmother's house because his mother was too ill to care for him. Back when Yungi was still a trainee, he had a part-time job as a delivery boy. One day, while he was going to deliver something on his motorcycle, a car collided with him and he broke his shoulder. For fear of being hit, taking him out of the company, Yungi didn't tell anyone about his shoulder. Luckily, Yungi finally took big hit and they decided to pay for his college tuition. Even after the beauty, Yungi still had to battle depression and hate comments. In 2019, Yungi got body shamed on Portal Nate for not looking like an idol. This happened when Yungi came back after the vacation and gained a few pounds in 2019. He was called fat and shamed for it. He was literally glowing and looked genuinely happy and healthy. Hey, so I didn't really Those know what's the problem with him. Many aunties, as you can see, were making fun of him, calling him Shin Dong. Yungi was again body shamed after he came back from his hiatus because of his shoulder surgery in 2021. Personally, I think we all know that aunties are waiting for the smallest things in BTS just to bash them. So are we even surprised that they body shamed him? I mean, unless they thought that you can work out with a shoulder surgery, if so, it only proves that they are dumb as heck. In an interview with Yonhap News, BTS discussed their anxieties, making a reference to Suga's the last of his mixtape. The members discussed the discrepancy they felt between now in the spotlight and back in training years, and how they had been exposed to depression and obsession, which all led up to the question, looking back in your training years, how did you beat that instability and how far do you think you are down the path of your dreams? Suga stated, anxiety and loneliness stay forever and how you choose to make peace with them. That needs a lifetime of consideration. Yumi admitted to writing lyrics to the last, which some of them are. On the other side of the famous idol rapper, stands my weak self. It's a bit dangerous. Depression, OCD, they come back again from time to time. Hell no, perhaps that might be my true self. At times, I'm scared of myself too. Thanks to self-help and the depression that pays a visit. Min Yungi is already dead. I him. Mm -hmm. Comparing my dead passion with others has long been my daily life. Through the lyrics, Shuga seems to say that although he's achieved his dreams, the anxiety has gone away. Now, Yungi is a part of the biggest group in the world, breaking every single record possible and becoming the first Asian group to have a Grammy nomination. His story shows that you cannot give up no matter what. Even in the worst situation, there is a light. Let me guys know what do you think of in this story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. <coughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. Wow. Okay, I like this video yeah, how it was good. calm. Yeah. I like how, how, yeah, the way this style is very unique, no? There's no like, ding, 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 there's no like music. It makes you like get engaged with her. Yeah, same, same. And you guys notice how fate is very amazing. The way Young is like was before. It's like fate made him be there. Yeah. Now. yeah until now, you know. Mm -hmm. Like God makes people like get through these challenges, and then later you get to. Cause the way he was saying, he he had to choose either to eat or to to, to to walk or to get the, to the they bus to yeah the bus like that life is very hard and ah, wow it's very fake he really yeah. deserves it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they call it he said good performance only 50 people and after performance you don't have anything to mm. do. Like, mm. and look at now he's performing at a sky 
with stars. I believe I can fly. No, I like the way even the girl said, believe, believe in your dreams. There's a light, you know? Yeah. Somebody can be struggling. You can see the world is all to you, but it's, it's like against you and stuff like that. Yeah. But just know there's a light, you know? Mm -hmm. Soon, soon you'll get to your goals, to achievements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the parents, yeah, yeah, the way, you know, you can have a vision, a dream, but mm -hmm. your parents might, might, might can be against like, it. Yeah, can be against it, you know? like, that's not just, the same. If you have a dream and you believe in it, I, I, just I, I, I advise you just go for it, yeah. even though, like, your, your parents would be like, yeah, but, but just go downs. for it, you know what I'm saying, like, what young did, that's crazy. At the end of the day. That's what Love our parents do. If now you tell your parents I want to be a musician, <laughs> You'd be like, oh, the money I spent in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. <laughs> and for real, it's not like a stable job, you know. Yeah. But you only just believe, like, I'm gonna try. Like once you, once you are, believe, once you are blown, you are forever. That's just the thing. You're good to go. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and hope you wish you the uh, happiest birthday. Birthday. He deserves uh, happiness. And all the aunties, um, don't give them. Um, don't give them attention, just like how I didn't even try want to talk about it. Speaking about them, oh, oh, yeah, just speak about them. It's weird how how these shames were recent, and people still don't see the success by 2021. No, as the as the lady say, like you know, it's for a big group like BTS, they're waiting for little things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, like, all the time they've been good, yeah. so they're waiting for. For those small things that just throw the sun and arrows and everything. Yeah, because there's nothing. You can see, sure. just BTS are very they're, perfect. They're like yeah. very perfect. perfect. And they're like, they 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 really trying, you know? Yeah. Yeah. For a big group, don't want to say fat. I want to see the person. For a big group, <laughs> for a big group, they're really, really trying. They're not in scale. So, they're not in what, so everyone is trying <laughs> so to, yeah. to, that's to bring crazy, them down. That's great. Yeah, yeah. They should come and see Kathy back there, right? <laughs> Alright guys, just don't don't give them attention. Just pretend like you didn't see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's the best way. Thing. And they'll stop and they'll mind their own. Why are you body shaming somebody? Like seriously. Good, if you don't have work body. to do, bro, go read book. Stay safe guys, stay tuned in our next video. Peace! Peace.